Today we're going to go ahead and select blower motor fan speed. So this is a PSC blower motor. It came out of a 120 volt single phase uh, gas furnace. And what we're going to first do is make sure you turn the power off. Then you're going to go ahead and disconnect the wires. You do not have to take the blower motor out of the furnace. All right. You're going to disconnect the capacitor off of the terminals. Make sure you do not touch these connectors because right? there is stored voltage in there. Now, if you do not have a blow, uh, blower motor wiring diagram for your speed taps, what you can do is you can actually take a resistance reading, all right, and you're going to put one probe in between the plastic and the metal of your, your white common wire. Then you're going to go ahead and take your other probe and put it in between the plastic and the metal, and you're going to start taking resistance readings. Your, re your highest resistance reading will be your lowest fan speed, so this is 8 ohms of resistance. Your next lowest fan speed, all right, second from lowest, is blue. In this case, it's a 5.8 ohms of resistance. Orange is your medium speed in this 5-speed PSE blower motor, 5.5 ohms of resistance. Now we're going to go ahead and get our yellow, which is second from the highest. That's 4.1 ohms of resistance. So you see as we go up to higher fan speeds, the resistance gets less. All right, so it's very important you want to have this in right here on your common and make sure it's not touching any metal. All right, no power. Make sure the motor is not spinning at all. We got 2.2, 2.4 ohms of resistance or so. All right, so that's that. Now, when you're wiring this into your control board, all right, so now we know which one's the highest fan speed. And normally we would go ahead and put the highest fan speed, which is black. Uh, we're going to put that on the cool as long as you're capacity on your air conditioning system uh, matches your blower motor fan speed. All right. In most cases you would size that to do so. Now your heat, uh, that would normally be your medium fan speed or second from lowest. In this case we'll do second from lowest which is blue and we're going to go ahead and connect that right in there just like that. Now it's very important that you connect your additional speeds on the spare terminals. So if you do not it's actually going to back feed voltage and it could arc on your ground. All right? So for safety reasons, we're going to go ahead and put that onto your spares. There is no voltage ever going to your spares. It's just an empty terminal space on your control board. All right? It's going to keep them safe. If you do not have spare terminals, what you can do is you can go ahead and wire nut these. All right? And then you can use some zip ties to hold them up out of the way to make sure that they're safe. All right? Then you're going to go ahead and put your white common onto your L2 neutral common bar, which is right here. All right? So that's how you would set that up. This is a five speed. You can come, you can have three speeds. You can have single speeds that you're going to run into, but that's it.